Scientists have developed a very potent uh, group of antibiotics called the fluoroquinolones, and they're uh, drugs, for example, like Levaquin and Cipro, and they're used really quite liberally despite the fact that they are extremely potent, wide-spectrum uh, antibiotics. Uh, they're used for, oftentimes given out for people who may have a cold and urinary tract infection or prostatitis. But we're now seeing significant uh, worrisome neurological consequences from that group of antibiotics. A recent publication in the journal Neurology demonstrated, in fact, that the risk of neuropathy, meaning damage to the nerves, uh, is doubled in individuals who've been exposed to these medications. There's actually a, a large number of people who have uh, come forward on the internet uh, talking about their negative experiences with fluoroquinolones. So we do see something called fluoroquinolone toxicity that is uh, becoming actually uh, more common than it should be. And what fluoroquinolones do uh, is they alter the gut bacteria. They, all, they change the, the, the makeup of the gut bacteria and this might be well why they are associated with uh, things like C. diff or this uh, bacterial overgrowth in the gut uh, that now affects half a million Americans and is fatal in close to 30,000 Americans each year. So it's great that we have these broad spectrum antibiotics, but the message today is we've got to be very judicious about their use.